warm weather is a welcome change for most of us. For police, it can be cause for concern. That's because when temperatures rise all too often, so does the violence. Over the weekend, in fact, the warm weather brought out crowds, and in two separate cases, those events ended with gunfire and chaos, leaving one man dead and several others hurt, including a police officer. NBC 10's Lauren Make spoke with community leaders about what needs to be done now. Lauren? And Tracy, the now is a really important piece of this. As I talked to folks today about what would make a difference, they talked about connecting with young people, learning what they need now and for their future. Warmer weather and continued violence stepping up a sense of urgency for those trying to stop the shootings. It's a gorgeous day. Yeah. The sun is out. Mm -hmm. But as the weather gets warmer, do you worry about that? Absolutely. Donovan West grew up in the Logan section of Philadelphia, today meeting up with us in Nicetown, near where six people were shot this weekend. He says as the weather gets warmer, it could lead to more large groups gathering. There's a lot of activity, and that activity leads to a lot of frustration. That frustration leads to people shooting, people getting shot. People being victims. West now works with the Black Brotherly Love Coalition, a group of professionals focused on talking to young people and listening to them to first understand where they are and what they need. What are all the things that contribute to the rage, the anger, the frustration, the lack of vision that exists? The violence in the city has faith leaders also looking for a solution. Reverend Robert Collier reacting to that shooting over the weekend. I was appalled, but I was. Wasn't surprised. The black clergy of Philadelphia and vicinity recently out with a framework for action and urgency. We need to do something before summer in order, if not, it's going to be a bloodbath. So we have a sense of urgency. Uh, we have to move forward with, with, with deliberation, but we got to move forward quickly. And Donovan West, who you heard from, he has his own businesses, but the Black Brotherly Love Group that he works with, this group brings together professionals to talk to young people. And this weekend, they have a virtual summit plan that includes a former NFL player, some sports professionals, an entrepreneur, uh, an engineer, and other professionals to talk to young people about their options. Levin Winfield, I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.